Those of you who listened to the Power 5 on Sunday went a perfect 5-0. and oh, uh, Capped things off for the plus 140 winner on the Cubs, Justin Steele, to record a win. But enough about that. It's on to Monday. Smaller card, but still some great opportunities to win. Plus, I've got another NFL season win total that I'm betting. As a reminder, you can always smash that like button if you're in agreement with me on today's selections, or if you just want to show support for the show. That's always greatly appreciated as well. Today's Power 5 starts with the Mets. Minus 120 versus the Cardinals. This is all about the situation. Cardinals, they easily could have been swept over the weekend in a four-game series uh, in Chicago. They played Sunday night. Not only do they have to travel back home Monday, which is usually a tough spot after the Sunday night game, but it's an earlier-than-usual start time of 5.15 Eastern. Big disadvantage there. In case you were wondering, this is just a one-off this game. It's a makeup from May 8th. Tomorrow, the Mets are in Colorado. St. Louis stays home to host Tampa. As for today, though, I know the Mets didn't swing the bats while in Anaheim this past weekend, but they're still top five when it comes to scoring on the road for the year. And do I dare bring up run differential again with the Cardinals? They may be two games over 500, but they've now been outscored by 42 runs on the season. Based on that differential, you'd expect they'd be 10 games below 500. Sean Manea, he was incredible for the Mets last time out. Tossed seven shutout innings with a season high, 11 Ks. I like the Mets to win here. Reds, first five run line. That's laying half a run against the Marlins. Shop around. You should be able to find this around even money. Look. The Reds can be a frustrating team to bet on. I did win with them Saturday, though, 4% best bet. But let's talk about run differential in Cincinnati. They're plus 28 on the year, meaning they should be seven games above 500. Yet, here we are. They're last in the NL Central, five games below the Mendoza line. They lost on Sunday in the early game. But you want to talk about the Mendoza line. Miami, 28 games below 500. I've got them power rate as the third worst team in all of baseball ahead of only Colorado and the White Sox. Rodri Munoz starting Monday for the Fish. He's been terrible. 6.14 expected ERA through 66 innings pitch. He's basically a replacement level arm and he struggled down at AAA so these struggles at the big league level are no surprise to me. This is a get right spot for Cincy. Skyline chili for everybody. Look for the road team to get out to an early lead at Munoz's expense in this one. Over nine, Giants Nationals, Patrick Corbin Day in D.C. Last time out, he gave up 11 runs in three innings. Between the two teams, we only need 10 runs today in nine innings. I think we get there. With Corbin, I shouldn't even have to run through the numbers at this point. He'd been better before the blowup against Arizona last time out, but the Southpaw is still the worst starter in all baseball going back to 2021. It just so happens the Giants are a top five team in batting average and WRC plus against lefties. And Logan Webb, who's starting for the Giants, he's not as good on the road. 4.30 ERA versus 2.61 at home. Add it all up, and we should get to 10 runs today. We've got two bottom 10 bullpens involved here as well. So it's over nine in Giants Nationals. Another game I expect will go over. Red Sox Royals at nine and a half. I don't like James Paxton, who's going here for the Red Sox. He struggled in his first start since coming over in a trade with the Dodgers, going back to his time wearing Dodger blue. Paxton's got a 6.67 ERA his last six starts. He has not gone a full five innings in any of those while allowing a combined 50 hits plus walks in just 27 innings pitched. And then you've got Brady Singer for the Royals. He's a big time negative regression candidate with a 4.45 expected ERA. Boston on the road, third highest scoring team in all baseball. Kansas City at home, third highest scoring team in baseball. So we've got the third highest scoring team on the road against the third highest scoring team at home. Another over in today's Power 5 for you there. Now, before I get to my NFL season win total, reminder about the special offer going on right now at wagertalk.com. You can get the entire month of August for free, an instant $299 savings. Head on over to my page for all the details, wt.buzz slash bp. A reminder, I finished last college football season on a red-hot 19-8 run. Who could forget that? Thrilling 5% win, Michigan over Alabama. Then I ran it back with the Wolverines in the national championship game against Washington. I also swept the Super Bowl, oh, by the way. Had to take a no action on the Hall of Fame game to start this season. Bears were winning, for the record, that was my play. But look for more NFL preseason winners starting Thursday for me, WTDepBuzz slash BP. I'm also betting the Cowboys under 9.5 wins. This is how we're going to round up the Power 5 today. You can find under 9.5 wins plus 114 at FanDuel. Look. A lot of people I respect like the Eagles to win the NFC East this year. 
I concur with that assessment. After all, you have to go back 20 years to find the last repeat winner in this division. Dallas won the East last year and has actually posted 12 wins each of the last three seasons. That's impressive, but they really have nothing to show for it when it comes to the postseason. And I've got major concerns with the Cowboys heading into 2024. A lot of contract issues here. Offensive line not going to be as good. Defense not going to be as good. Jerry Jones vowed to be aggressive in the offseason. He was not. I also wouldn't be surprised if Washington can usurp Dallas for second in the division. Regardless, it's under 9.5 on the Cowboys season win total for me. Let's now recap the Power 5, shall we, for today. Mets minus 120 versus the Cardinals. Reds first five run line versus the Marlins. Over nine Giants Nationals. Over nine and a half Red Sox Royals and Cowboys under nine and a half season wins. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Again, head on over to wt.buzz slash bp right now for my top selections on monday don't forget to smash that like button and if you're not already subscribed to the wager talk youtube channel what exactly are you waiting for instant alerts exclusive content morning wager mark zeno and i will be available shortly let's all have a great day and let's catch some tickets